What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching and showing you guys what I think are the four most effective basketball moves for one-on-one. -on -one. So I know you guys go and play one-on-one, -on -one, king of the court. I wanna help you guys get better at that. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Either way, go ahead and hit that like button, and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so the best part of all four of these moves is that they actually work together and are counters to each other. So if you can actually master these and implement these in your one-on-one -on -one games, you're gonna be able to trick your defender, get your defender to fall for your shot fakes and all that kind of stuff to make you a better one-on-one -on -one player. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the inside hand finish. Now, I love the inside hand finish from the wing, but most times you play one-on-one -on -one from the top of the key, whether it's king of the court or just checking it up or whatever it is but the inside hand finish, okay? So when I drive whatever move I make and I attack the basket here, uh, as soon as I get in here, I like to go off the ground early and try to finish with my inside hand. And what I mean by off the ground early is normally if I was to finish with my left hand here on the left uh, side of the basket, I would take two steps, right? I would come in here and I'd go one, two, left hand finish. But when you're able to shoot with your inside hand and finish inside hand, not only can you reach past your defender and shoot the ball straight into the basket, but you're able to get off the ground quicker, which is going to mess up the timing of the defender. So instead of taking two steps, I'm actually going to tap here and take one and then go up with my inside hand. So you'll see I'm jumping off my left foot, finishing with my right hand, and this is a great way to throw off the timing of the shot blocker or if you have him beat, then you can reach straight to the basket, extend, he's not gonna be able to get there in time, when as if you were to shoot with your left hand, okay, even if he's beat, he might jump up here and be able to contest, block the shot if he's pretty athletic. So that first one is the inside hand finish. Let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. Okay, so the next finish that I wanna show you is what I call the rondo. So we just went inside hand finish and we jump off our outside foot. Now this is basically the counter to this inside hand finish. Okay, so a rondo is basically when I drive in here and I plant, instead of jumping off the ground with that outside foot, I plant my inside foot, shot fake, and then I back pivot to come back into a shot, a hook shot, or some kind of finish. Okay, so the reason that this is the counter is because on the inside hand finish, they have to time that. They have to jump up with me on that. And so they're seeing that, they're thinking that I'm gonna come in here and shoot inside hand finish, but really I'm shot faking. So they're running full speed. They're gonna fly outside the scene. They're gonna be outside the court and you can easily turn around and shoot your jumper right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the Rondo looks like full speed. It's one of my favorite finishing moves. Okay, so those really are my two favorite finishes when I'm playing one-on-one -on -one from the top or from the wing. I think it's tricky for the defender to try to time the block, and if they leave their feet, you just rondo them. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about two moves that I really like in one-on-one -on -one to get by my defender. So you can put all four of these things together, the moves to get by, the finishes at the basket to, to become a better one-on-one -on -one player. So here's the move that I'm talking about first. It's, I call it one, two, three. So at a triple threat, normally what you see is you see rip throughs and you see jab crosses meaning that those are the two ways that people at triple threat a lot of times break down their defender they either catch it and rip and go or they jab cross and so this last one i call it one two three because it's basically not a rip through not a jab cross but a combination of both to attack with the strong hand okay so the first thing is a jab step with the right hand and you wanna use the ball in your jabs by moving it over your knee to simulate that rip through. Okay, so it's gonna be a jab here, a shift of the body weight back to here, one, two, and then a rip through three with a big step here. So here's what it looks like a little bit faster. You catch the ball, it's one, two, three, and then you take a big step to blow by the defense and get to the basket. So let's go ahead and take a look at that full speed. <laughs> All right, so the last move that I wanna teach you that I think is super effective in one-on-one -on -one is the Iverson crossover. Okay, so the Iverson crossover is basically just a big crossover where you can blow by the defender. Now, I'm not gonna go in super detail right now. Go ahead and click the little link that just popped up on the screen right now to go ahead and check out my full 
breakdown of the Allen Iverson crossover if you want all the little tips. But here real quick, I'm gonna give you just a quick little sneak peek of what it looks like, a few important factors that go into it. So let's go ahead and get into that part. Okay, so the Iverson is done off of a live dribble. And basically what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna have a little skip and whatever hand the, the ball is in, the opposite foot is what you want back. And you wanna push off that foot to give the illusion that you are attacking in this direction. Here's a little look at what that looks like. Okay, pushing off that back foot, you wanna switch your feet. It's a skip that brings that foot back, and then you want to cross it over and blow by the defender. So here's it one more time. Boom, push and cross to go by the defender right there. Once you cross over, you wanna act almost like a running back, and you wanna keep that ball in your hand and run with it for one or two steps. It's not a travel, just make sure your hand doesn't go underneath, and that's gonna help you make this move super effective. I'm gonna show it to you live, full speed right now so you can see all the little details that I just talked about. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you liked that video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And we release all kinds of basketball training drills and content on this channel. So matter of fact, there's another video that I think you're gonna like right on this screen right now. So go ahead, click that video right now and I will see you in that video.